Today is a special communion service. The message today is have hope, part two. Have hope, part two. Hope is the expectation of good things to come. In life, it is what you expect you will experience. In Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 18. For surely there is an end. And thine expectation shall not be called. For surely there's an end to sickness. For sure there's an end to that situation. That's contrary. What you expect will come to pass. There's an end to sickness. But you have to expect health in place of sickness. There's an end to poverty. You have to expect plenty for poverty to pass. There's an end to singlehood. You have the spirit to get married. Nature abhors vacuum. If anything is ending, then something should be expected. If I want sickness to end, I have to expect health. If I want poverty to end, I have to expect prosperity. If I want failure to end, I have to expect success. If I want this appointment to end, then I have to expect fortune. Is that true, sir? For surely there is an end. And today, that thing you don't want will end in your life. And your expectation shall be granted in the name of Jesus. Are you a believer? Hope celebrates the reality of tomorrow. In Psalm 42 and verse 5, as a why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why hast thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God. For I shall yet praise him for the help of his countenance. Shout hallelujah. Lack of hope depresses people. It's a why are that this, this scripture was verbatim in three different areas of the Bible. Three or four areas. The same verbatim scripture. Why are that cast down? The reason you are looking down is because you can't see your future. So I see. You can't be done cast if you can see your tomorrow. Those who see their tomorrow don't allow what they are passing through today bother them. If you can see where you're going to, you will not be upset where you are today. Every time you are downcast, it is an indication you can't see your future. Let me use a colloquial if you look morose. If you look what? You can't see, you have not seen your tomorrow. If you have seen your tomorrow, you will not look what? Morose. Don't speak that English. He <laughs> said, why has that cast down all my world? So why are you looking dejected, rejected, frustrated? It's because you have not seen where you are going to. So I have a future. Say it one more time. As long as your hope is alive, you are never down. You are never what? To a man who has hope, even when he has nowhere to sleep, he will be dancing. Even when there's no food, he will be jumping because he can see a colorful future. Shout hallelujah. I'm not shouting today because of what God has done. I've been like this. One day I was preaching long ago and a man drove his wife to the church in a Mercedes Benz. 
We had no microphone. It was mat to phone. We were on benches. Benches are wooden chairs. For those of you in the Western world, you may not know that kind of chair because you've never seen it. You need to see it. I don't know what studio you have, what they call benches. You bring our old church, you see the picture of the benches. If you bring, when we came here, you can see the pictures. We had benches, that kind of seat. When you sit down, you don't do like this. Because there's no backrest. If you do it, you and the chair will tumble. So you sit on it and you are just upright. And then this man saw me jumping and preaching. And I was so excited. So he, he, he parked the car and was looking at me. He called the wife. He said, why is your pastor so excited? With this kind of number of persons. We are not, less, we are not up to 50. And I was jumping and I was preaching. So he, he could not understand how can a man be excited on benches with microphone, no microphone, no speaker. I was seeing my tomorrow. I didn't see that day. I saw where I was going to. Are you getting what I'm talking about? A man who can see that he will buy a car, even if he's striking, he will not know it. <laughs> so I was excited. The man said, excuse me, my wife, why is your pastor excited? Why is he so happy? He's so joyful. He couldn't see what I saw. If every time you do like this, you have not seen your future. May you see it today. Amen. May you see it today. Amen. May you see it today. Amen. I said, may you see it today. Amen. Now, to have hope, to have what? Number one. To have hope, number one. Know what God's word says about you. Know what God's word says about you. God's word is the source of hope. Without the word of God, there can't be hope. Anybody trying to have hope without God's word is trying to fetch water in with a basket. That's nothing that will sustain the hope. Are you getting what I'm talking about? But when you have God's word, it makes you hope and see a colorful future. Now, for instance, the psalmist said, I've been young and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor the seed begging breath. It gives you hope that you won't beg. Is that true? He said, though that beginning be small, but a little age shall greatly worth increase. So even if I start small, I will not remain small. It gives me hope that I will get big. Is that true? Are you hearing what I'm saying now? <laughs> Though I begin small, but I will not remain small. It gives me hope. It gives what? Hope. That even if I start small with the chaos, I'm going to have a supermarket. Are you getting what I'm Even though we start with bench, we are going to go to a cathedral. Do you understand now? Glory to God. It gives you hope. In Job 14, 7 to 9, as a for there is hope. Hope of a tree. That's what? That means you have hope. Tree is you. The Bible refers to you and I are the trees of righteousness. As that's the one verse 3. So God is saying, there's hope of you. If it be cut down. You know what I mean? There's, there's hope in case you crashed and you went down. There's hope. So what do you mean there's hope? It's in case you came down. Life was there and then you crashed. But there's still that it will sprout again. He's saying, in case you came down, you are bouncing back again. And I see you bounce back again. Amen. Glory to, I see you bounce back again. Amen. Send me have hope. I can't be on the floor. I'm bouncing back again. He said it will sprout again and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. That means you will not die. Things will begin to flourish one more time. Though the root there are wax old in the earth. You know what I mean? And the stock there are dying in the ground. That is, it looks so hopelessly hopeless. Your case looks as if it's a closed case. He said, there is still hope. So there's still what? How will that hopeless case have hope? Look at verse 9. He said, you have hope through the scent of water. You know what I mean? He said, in case you look at that, with the word of God. With what? 
Scent of water means word of God. Ephesians 5, 26. Scent of water means what? He said, through the word of God. As long as you have the word of God, there is what? Hope. So here. As long as you have the word of God, the word of God said, through the scent of water, it shall boil and bring for boil like black. He said, through the word of God. As long as God's word is available, oozing out from you, forget it. Your case is not closed. So I hear. Are you getting what I'm saying? Your case is not what? Close. As long as, now listen carefully. God's word is powerful. God's word is what? It is the, it's the one that sustains your hope. Okay. My wife and I, as married people, had no food when we started ministry. There was a day, no single food. It was Gary, Gary's powdered cassava. There was no food in anywhere. We had Gary alone. No milk, no sugar, because it's too expensive. So my wife took Gary in the morning, took Gary in the evening, the afternoon took Gary, and her head began to pain her. Because that was not a balanced diet. It was unbalanced. And we had all night. We used to do all night before. Don't we don't do all night? But because of space, if you do all night, now you keep people through. Where will you keep the people in the night? No space. I really get saying about that. Combine the five services into one. There have no. So we used to do all night. But we had hope. We had what? We had hope. We didn't allow to say, oh God, you call us into ministry. Is it how we will live with Gary alone? Nobody knew. Nobody saw it on our faces. We didn't say, see, God called us here, we are suffering. <laughs> in the midst of that, I'll put my hands in my pocket. I'll come to the church and say, listen, I'm one of the richest preachers. With Gary. With what? <laughs> if you are down, it's because the word is not in you. Those who have God's word, they have hope. Say they have hope. Say they have hope. Say they have hope. They have hope. And I have hope. Your case is not closed. With the word of God swooshing out, I will come and I say, listen, I am going to be a rich preacher. We got it. I went to a conference with one suit. The conference, I wore the suit, we started the conference like a month and we ended on a Saturday morning. And I wore that one suit, one. It was, you know, there's a, and it was not black. You know, black does not show. But any other color, it will show. But if it's black suit, you can wear black suit every day. Nobody, it will be difficult for a person to know. But that was, I think it was a brown suit. I will never forget. I still have the picture. There's a way you, the thing will be, you, you will never forget it. I still have the picture. I wore the suit Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then we left Saturday. Now, somebody made a mockery. It saw me that I didn't change my suit. Good. I wore it morning, afternoon, evening, morning, after, and we had. When Bishop Deco has conference, you will do morning session, afternoon session, evening session. You, you come to the So you just imagine one suit. You're wearing morning, afternoon, evening, first day, second day, third day, Friday. You know, by Friday, the suit will tell you I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> so someone came to me by my side, arrogantly, and said, ah, some of you say you will start ministry. It was working then with Bishop Deco. So me, I started from the scratch. <laughs> this you'll see, we paid price, so he was already colorful because he, he went to work with an established ministry. You understand now? So he could buy suits. Me, I was starting from so scratch. So he came to my, by my side. It was my classmate. And, and, said, and to, for me to hear. Have, you, have they mocked you for you to hear? It will turn to a testimony. He said, there's some of us, you know, we have suits and some people will be wearing one. I was hearing him, not that day. And he was saying it for me to hear. Where should they say God has called them? We don't know what God called them to be. Where they want to all the days. I looked at him, I moved my face. But I didn't, it didn't affect me. I could see where I was going. I could see where I was. Can I humble you? Less than one or two years, the same man looked for transfer money from me. And I brought out a bundle and said, pay transport. He couldn't pay transport. <laughs> and I brought out a bundle. My life has changed at that time. My class has changed. I had the word, so what he was saying did not touch me. Do you understand now? If every little thing moves you, you can't move anything. Don't allow the statement of men shake you when you have the word of God. Right here. When you have God's word, 
Even when they mock you, God is about to make you. And God will make you as I'm talking right now. In Psalm 71 verse 5. For thou art my hope, O Lord God, thou art my trust from my youth. You are my hope, my God. I trust in you and nothing can change my eye. Nothing can stop me from being a celebrity on the earth. Psalm 119, the B path. Psalm 119, 114, 116, and 147. I will read them. He said, I hope in thy word. I hope what? My hope is what? In the word. Where's my, where's my hope? In the word of God. My hope is where? Without the word, you don't, hope is useless. You're building on nothing if you have no hope on the word. Uphold me, verse 1, 6. Uphold me according to thy word that I may live and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold me strong because of your word. You can't have the word of God and be shaking on the inside. Glory to God. Verse 147. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried. I hoped in thy word. You can't have the word of God and then anything move you. No. No. It's the word of God that gives you a food. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When you have the word of God, you're movable. You're what? Movable. Any situation, you be, you be, you be, your hope will be strong. Your hope will be strong. Now, listen carefully. I've seen people post in their strength. I've seen people talk as if they are God. And there's some trust in channels. But some in horses. But we will remember the name of our God. He said they are brought down and fallen. We stand upright. He said the arm of flesh shall fail. Are you getting me now? And somebody is bragging. You don't look at him and say you, you will fail. Why your hope is in the word of God. Any man trusting in the arm of flesh, bragging as if he's God, before you and I, we go down in the name of Jesus. My hope is strong because I know that this is what God's word says. Are you getting what I'm saying? So I'm unmovable. I'm what? Because of the word of God. If you have God's word, your hope will be strong. Listen. Many of us mistake hope and faith. Hope has its place. Faith has what? Its place. Without hope, faith will not produce. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 verse 1. Now, first and foremost, I have to have hope. I have to have what? Before my faith will bring my hope into reality. Do you understand now? Now listen. This is how it is. You're a man. You're what? Man has the seed to produce a child. Is that true? That is faith. That's what? But can that man, no matter how strong he is, produce a child without a woman? The woman is hope. The man has to have a woman to produce what? A child. For him to say, yes, I have faith. The man. Produce one without a woman. So they are partners. They are what? Hope and faith are partners. Hope is the woman. Faith is the man. But the man must see what he wants in life before he can make it a reality. Hope makes you see your future. Then faith brings that which you have seen to reality. Are you getting what I'm saying? So if I don't have any hope, my faith is what? Useless. So hope has to be the breeding ground for faith to produce. Are you getting me, sir? Are you hearing me? Glory to God. And if you are born again, then you have hope. Say so me, have hope. If you're a child of God, your case is not what? Hopeless. To him that is joined to all the living, there's hope. The man that is hopeless is a man who has no God. First Peter chapter 1 verse 3. So my own case is different. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ 
which according to his abundant mercy had begotten us. Has God begotten you? Has God begotten you? Again unto a, a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. He brought you into a lively hope. So every child of God, your case is not closed. So I hear. No matter how you are, when you are born again, don't write off your case. Are you hearing me? You may not have food today does not mean that you remain like that. Even Jesus went through challenges for a while. They are only temporary. They are only what? For it, you don't pity a child of God. Because it's only in the kingdom where a janitor can become a jet owner. You know a janitor? Dirty carrier. It's only in the kingdom of God where a janitor today can become a jet owner tomorrow. Yesterday, Joseph was in prison. The following day was a prime minister. You can only find that in the kingdom of God. So do I write off your case? Sir, here. Have you not seen most of us who went through one thing and all of a sudden called turned our stories in less than two hours? I decree today, someone hearing me, God will change your story. In the midst of scarcity, God will give you plenty. Don't write off your case. Jeremiah 15 verse 16. He said, the words that thy words were found, I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and the justice of my heart. For I am called by thy name, O Lord God of hosts. When you find God's word, you'll be jumping. You will do what? Any man you see jumping has discovered God's word. You see a man rejoicing in the midst of scarcity. He has found what? God's word. He has found God's word. Our joy is not the day we have something. Our joy is the day we discover God's word. Our joy is task. Listen, I am, go to my old tapes. You will see me jumping, talking with authority. I don't used to wear a suit, they were coat because I couldn't afford people used to give me. Do you know? Okay, now I'm wearing 52, but I want 56. Now just, just use a mental picture. I'm wearing 52 now. Then I've won what? Just imagine how it will be. <laughs> it's like overall. True? Do you know overall? The, I've not seen Go and look at my old tape. You see things that are wearing overall. The show that will be here. It's, it's because <laughs> to go and amend it, who will amend it for you? So the show, <laughs> the show that I see will be here. Then you just, you just yeah, you slim on inside, then the suit is like this. <laughs> you, the, the thing will be like this. It's as if you're wearing gown. <laughs> the trust of people go. <laughs> and I will shout and say, Praise God! Somebody shout, yeah! The, the big coat, slim on inside the big coat. But I couldn't be bothered. I couldn't be what? Am I not the person who did my bed? They gave 500 suits. 500 what? 500 suits. But you know, it's one thing, some of it's one thing. Since when I can't get born again, nothing that happened. No. I don't understand this kind of Christianity. Me, I understand though. If you are doing like that, you have not found the word. When you find God's word, you can't do like this. Lie, lie. You can't do like this. You'll be laughing in the midst of challenges. Say so here. Your story will change today. I say your story will change today. I say your story will change today. If nobody has told you will marry you, relax. There's no woman without a husband. And there's no man without a wife. God does not make a mistake. In this kingdom, he is a perfect God. You can't tell him that he knows, he knows how to arrange. Just say, oh, men are more, women are more. No, 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 no. He knows how it's a path in the world they can do that, but in the kingdom. Okay, for instance, do you know at this church, men are more than women? In salvation, we say men are more than women. I know the attendance. Other churches, women are more. In this church, men are more. Our, this church has more men than women. Every, every service attendance, men are more. <laughs> I, think, I see the records. So, in the world, women are more. In the kingdom, so, this church now, essentially, you don't want to marry. If you want to marry, you see husband. But, but young men, play, okay. you will be shocked. If I tell you now to get up, men who are not married, women who are not married, you'll be surprised that in this church, men who are not married are more. 
So, okay, why you not do like this? Who will come marry me? Then plenty. <laughs> <laughs> but I look left, right. One person, they will come marry you. So relax yourself. Don't be looking at your age. You are not older than Sarah. Every woman, God has ordained your husband. Now, now she says, who will come marry me? I don't read 46. Why are you calculating 46? There's a woman in this country who stays outside this country, who married in her first marriage was in her sisters. Late sisters, not even early sisters. First marriage to a very great man of God. Psalm 119, 162. I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth worth. This boy. I'm jumping up because I found the word of God. Second Peter 1, 3 and 4. So I have the word of God. Nothing will make me to be cast down. According as his divine power had given unto us all things. How many things? How many things? That pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and what? He has given us how many things? So if he has given me all things, then I shouldn't allow anything to bother me. Am I correct? If God has given me what? It's just for the time for them to come to pass. True? I'm born again now. So why should I allow? He has given me how many things? All things. So whatever I don't have now is just for time to come to pass. Don't allow anything to bother you where you give up hope. Are you hearing me, sir? One day is too much for God. One day is too much. One day is what? Too much. Last night, a young man who was living with us is married now. She had, he came to me and stood in front of me. He said, sir, can I share one testimony with you? I said, what is it? He said, you know, I came to this town. This was where I was. I was riding a car. I am riding a jeep. He said, look at me. I'm married. He was giving his testimonies. Catholic testimonies. He, he gave very humbling testimonies. But the most humbling part that shook me was he said, this is the first time in my life I'll handle this money. And I said, let me throw it into your life. I prayed for him from my heart. Why? The money he gave me is not that people are giving me millions. But the money he gave me for his size. Are you guys now? He said, this is the first time I handled this amount of money in my life. I want to sow into you as you sold money to your father. I want my life to turn. And I said, kneel down. This is the last day you beg. Do you understand now? Don't bother where you are now. Your story will soon change. I said, your story will soon change. Your story will soon change. You too will have your testimony. Please, don't allow temporary situation weigh you down. Relax. Have hope. So I have hope. My hope, you sing it. My hope is built on nothing. Yet, after you finish singing, you say, where are my hope dinner? You say, just like I my hope is built on nothing else. Your hope is built, oh. But after you finish the song, well, I don't know where would you go. <laughs> My friend, relax yourself. You see, he has given unto us all things. How many things? There's nothing you are looking for that is not available in Christ. Everything you are looking for is available in Christ. So don't give up. Refuse to be hopeless. Your future is bright. Rise to your faith. Shout hallelujah. Shout a big hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a glorious hallelujah. So I have hope. Say it one more time. Say it like a child of God. My case is not closed. I have a future. It's colorful. It's bright. I'll get there. My future is colorful. It's bright. I'll get there. I'll get there. Shout a better amen. amen. Shout a loud amen. amen. You lift up your hands towards heaven and say, Lord, from where I am now, I can see where I am going. I speak that I must get there. Nothing stops me from getting there. Lord, make it a reality in my life. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself in the name of Jesus. I see where I'm going and I will get there. No matter what I'm going through right now, it doesn't stop what your purpose for my life. Lord, make it a reality in my life in the name of Jesus. Nothing stops that which I've ordained for me in life in the name of Jesus.
Go ahead and talk to God. His purpose for your life will never be aborted. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Sometimes we should share testimonies. One of our sons here, I've come to the house in one room, in Rome, I say, when he came back from London. So that's good. Some of them share their testimonies. I've come to the house with the family, one room. But today he has his own house. Not house, I'm sure he has houses. People are working for him. It was one room. We get a tight in the village. In a place called Romasse. Romasse is in Port Harcourt. I, Elekaya, sorry. I think it's Elekaya or Romasse. Where is it? Is it Elekaya? Elekaya, yes. Yeah, so tight. One room. Tight corner. That church was not like this. We used to home sell. We'll go to different, different places. So my wife and I went there. Tight. Today, life has changed. Life has what? Life has changed. So don't bother. In Christ, don't give up. In Christ, don't what? He came from UK. He stayed in the UK and came. I think he should shy it himself. So that he, so he came from UK. But it's as if he went down after coming back from overseas. But now, pop, the same God has lifted him. Relax yourself. In Christ, there's hope. In Christ, what? Don't give up. You may be hopeless in the world, but not in Christ. 24 hours, too much. Two hours, too much. Glory to God. You too will have your testimony. You too have your testimony. You too have your testimony. In the name of Jesus. You may be seated. Part two, communion section. The holy communion is for the restoration of our total health. I'm not going to read like others. John chapter 6, 50, 51, 53, 50, 51, and 54, and 56. These are the key scriptures you give. This is the bread which came down from heaven that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread which I give is my flesh, which I give for the life of the world. He said, if you eat it, you will not die. So anyone dead is threatening. As you partake of his flesh and blood today, dead will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. 54. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood had eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. He said, if you take it, you have his kind of life. Ask yourself, can his life have that sickness? Can that disease in you be in his life? Can pain be in Jesus? Can cancer be in Jesus? Say so, I me, mean, whatever is not in Christ that is in my body, as I partake of his flesh and blood, that evil is destroyed. Say it with faith, that evil is destroyed. Right now. I am going to take off his flesh. There be a flesh transplant. Jesus' flesh will take over my flesh. His blood will take over my blood. Whatever is not in Jesus is not permitted to be in me. And whatever is in Christ must be in me by the mystery of the communion right now in the name of Jesus. It is what you confess you possess. That's what I'm telling you to say it. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and in him. Verse 56. Now may his own blood. It establishes our oneness with Christ. Our oneness is what? Even our beasts that are not in Christ will die in the name of Jesus. Yeah. There was poison. And Elijah said, bring me a meal in 2 Kings chapter 4, 39 to 41. And he cast the meal into the pot and I was no more arm. Everyone poison of any kind moving your body. As this meal enters your mouth, that poison will be neutralized in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Now here is the coming has power to swallow up. The rods of oppression in our body. All of, you know, the, when he threw the rod of Aaron, to the serpent came. Is that through? And then the magical serpents of Pharaoh were swallowed up by one serpent. Is that through? And just said, as the serpent lived in the wilderness, so shall the serpent be lifted up. So the serpent also represents Jesus. I just said, this is my flesh. So you don't need more than one flesh to swallow up all the magical serpents in your body. I'm just being fast. Are you going to what I'm saying now? So all those magical serpents, charms, they cast on you, things working in your body, pains of all kinds. I decree 
instantly, as this one flesh enters, they will all be swallowed in the name of Jesus. The world swallowed all of them. And in Luke 24, he gave it to them, 30, 31, he gave it to them, their eyes were open. The coming has the revelation boosting power of God. May your eyes of understanding be opened in the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet. So may as I partake of his flesh and blood, there be an immediate transplant that will automatically replace my body with his own flesh. My blood with his own blood. I am now you are going to pray, Lord, as I take of your flesh and blood, your flesh replaces what? My flesh. Your blood replaces my blood. Whatever is not in your blood. So HIV will live right now. Amen. Cancer will die right now. Amen. Any sickle cell will be destroyed right now. Amen. Pain in his, in his flesh. Can there be any pain around you? Now with that deep understanding, pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. Amen. Stretch your hands and pray in the name of Jesus. Now, the prophetic with David Ibiomi. May good news never depart from us. May we keep hearing good news all through. Whatever anyone has planned as evil against you and I, will turn against them. In the name of Jesus, I declare victory shall be your portion. Favor shall be our portion. God's purpose for our lives and destiny will stand. Nothing will abort it in the name of Jesus. The Lord has fought our battles. We are declared victors. Go in peace. Keep rejoicing. In Jesus' mighty name.